Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not good. Wow, the guys he really, really pulled out today. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be doing some maintenance and going to a VAG meet tomorrow. So, it should be a good one. So, we're getting a new fan in the car because I ran the previous one on water for too long. So that's going to hopefully clean up the coolant system and I won't have to have that brown muddy coolant in it. And I think we're going to do a brake fluid change as well because the brake fluid is really dark. Hopefully that improves brake feel. Yeah, that's really, really bad. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not that's good. Not clean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, highly recommend throwing coolant. <laughs> so I was just flushing the system. Probably gonna have to do this a couple more times just to get all that dirt and gunk out of the system. So I raised the back and I went a bit too low. This I actually adjusted it twice, but it was lower than this before. I would love to have the car like that height again. Just tucking a little bit of tire. But yeah, we've got, that's the, the wheel gap, feels good, it clears enough, should protect the sump. So this is the brake setup on the car at the moment, so it's 239 mil, and yeah, it's, it's definitely not doing the job. So the plan is to do a power brake disc and pad at this size, which should help, and then I think from there we'll go either 256 or 288 I'm just concerned that it's not going to clear on these wheels if I go for uh, 288 so we've got this in the cooling system at the moment that will flush it out apparently these work quite good so we'll run that for a while And that should hopefully just clean it out before we throw coolant back into it. A uh, quick update on the fan situation. It is lower. So it's not protruding as much anymore. Yeah, like... Jamil is not a big fan of running those two smaller fans. I think that this one it really is efficient as it is. So don't fix it if it ain't broke. So I've asked Jamil to turn the boost by gear off but I don't think it's fully off. So I think they just more boost in first and second now so let's see what it does yeah it's definitely more boost now yeah that that gets down feels like like there's symmetry if that makes sense like because first and second gear was just 
and lacking so much that like it felt weird I think I'm actually really gonna miss this F tune Oh man, this is, now I'm like hooked on this after the flush definitely an improvement like more direct feeling so that helped um, definitely have to do the brake upgrade soon especially with this end file it's like yeah it's essential yeah that's it for this one I will catch up with you guys at the bag beat I actually forgot that I was filming today, so I just got to the bag meet. It's really, really good turnout. I'll show you guys around. I think just to keep things simple, I'll take pictures today. Nothing, nothing over the top, but wow, the guys really, really pulled out today. So this is Matt's car. He actually arrived in Cape Town. He was in Joburg for a while. And he's back in Cape Town now. He had his car tuned in the week, I think. And it makes 150 kilowatts, which is really healthy for 2 liter 16 valve. Also, like, very neat setup. Ah, oh, I missed the sound. I wanted to test fit these wheels on the Mark II because I think they would just look so bloody good but they are 5100 and I am 4100 so it's not gonna work <sighs> unfortunately so this Mark II comes with a it's not factory fitted but it, it's like a I don't know what is it uh, something turbo techniques or something I'll, I'll insert that but it's turbocharged so it's turbocharged with kj tronic which is like epic which is yeah this car is very very cool i don't know if it has any other it doesn't have any like badges or anything to say that's what's happening but it is it's cool so he's got a set of d90s for it and he's getting the spaces adjusted so it should look it should look really good when that's on so this is Jared's Mark II in the previous VAG meet I showed his VR6 and I mentioned to this car and here it is I think this is a no no I have seen it on these wheels but he lowered it oh that looks that looks good so I really want a set of these for the Mark II but they wouldn't functionally work for the way I use the car like and I'm not really a showy guy anymore kind of 
because then I'd have to swap wheels for certain things and that's too much effort. Oh man, two door. So perfect. Yeah, this is, this is very nice. I need to ask the owner to pop the hood. So it's got a Rob Green kit on it. It's got like all the good stuff. It's like a carbon seat. Low, low. So Shabba's got rotors on the car. The car's also got a shiny finish. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, this every time I see this car, it's like just little improvements. That looks nice. Mark 3 just pulled up now as he was rolling just looking at this the way the rear was like tucking into the arch just something about a two-door golf that just works yeah so that's nice I won't lie I missed the tarmacs on this car I'm going to insert the previous meet so you can look at the cars in that one to see the pop-up top right that the tarmac's on it in there I mean this is this is a good look but yeah I think I'm just a sucker for tarmacs yeah so this is not what I wanted to do today taking videos it's a killer so the guys are rolling out now I'll insert the pictures that I took guys so that's it for this video thanks so much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I might as well just uh, film the guys rolling out. So nice. just needs a VR6. That's all it needs in there. Ah, oh, I forgot to ask him to open the bonnet. Wraps.